Hey everyone, whenever I'm reviewing low elo gameplay, the biggest problem is you all let the enemy get away with so many mistakes, it's crazy. They can be making so many lane losing errors and you have so many opportunities to start snowballing but you don't recognize it. So today I'm going to run you through a few games on my smurf in low plat high gold and test your knowledge to see if you can spot the mistakes I'm making or that the enemy laner is making. So in this first game, I'm playing Lee Sin vs Jace. Lee Sin and Jace are both pretty strong in the early levels, but Jace has the range advantage, so he's stronger until level 3. I want to let the wave push to me, then at level 3, look for all ins. If we're both pretty healthy and I land my Q, I win the fight, and if I miss, he wins. So at the start of the lane, Jace makes a small mistake right off the bat. So we're going to let the clip play for about 30 seconds, see if you can spot the mistakes that he made. Alright, so he made two big mistakes here. The first was that he didn't auto attack down one minion, so he had to use his Q to kill the first three as they were all low at the same time. The reason why this is a problem is that he should be using all of his abilities on me. I have no way of pressuring him until level 3, so he should have no reason to waste potential poke or to waste any mana to get CS. Second mistake was after that I hit him with Q, and then when it dropped off, meaning I couldn't use the second part, he didn't pressure me harder for the CS I went for. I have no way of trading back when my Q is down, so he should have went hammer form and jumped on me, then poked me with range as well. Both of these mistakes are important because remember how the lane's supposed to go. I can't pressure him until level 3, but even if I am level 3, if I'm too low, I can't do anything. So this is when he should be trying to get as much health off of me as possible to prevent any all-in threat later. Alright, we're going to speed up a bit as he does the exact same thing here for about a minute, just not punishing me enough for CS and not harassing. Then we're going to resume here where he is level 3 and I'm one minion away from level 3. Just like before, watch what happens and look for the mistakes. Alright, so the main problems here were simple, but they wouldn't be punished very hard in low elo. The first issue was, he tried to ego block my cannon without paying attention to my experience. He should know I'm one minion away from hitting level 3, so if I jump in and hit the cannon, I would level up. This is important because remember, I can't really kill him until level 3. He took a huge chunk from this, and that's important because again, I went all in against Jace. He needs to win through poke, but now he's really low. If we're both really low, I still win. So he overchased with the confidence that his jungle was behind him, which let me land the second Q and finish him off. Now I escape the Nocturne gank, and Jace TP's back in. I should recall here and TP back into lane, but I wanted to try and outplay the dive and I have outplay potential with my shield. This is a misplay though, don't get me wrong. The first thing I do is Q the Jace in W away, trying to damage him a bit before the dive to make it a bit more difficult for him. Now we're going to let the clip play a bit, try to spot why this dive doesn't work for him. Alright, so this was actually just a mixture of things. It was a bit unlucky and an outplay on my part. He had the damage to kill me, but because I used my W twice quickly, and that gave me 10% spell vamp, and then used my E on all of those minions, it healed me for about 50 health, which is a lot. And because I got a little bit of poke on him before the dive, he died at the last tower shot. The only thing he could have done to make this easier was to wait for his ranged Q to come back up instead of going in right after he used it. Then I would basically have no counterplay except to try and dodge a point blank Jace Q. So for this first game, Jace needed to harass more levels 1 and 2, and not ego block my cannon when I was 1 minion to level 3. For this next one, I'm playing Lucian vs Shen. It's a ranger's melee matchup, but this one is a bit different than how Lee Sin vs Jace would go. Shen is a tank bruiser hybrid, and has plenty of kill pressure vs a ranged champion, but he can't 100-0 them most of the time unless he's fed. He needs to land a taunt and chunk them, then the second taunt he lands would lead to a kill. So what this Shen does wrong here is a really important concept that isn't talked about much. So let's see if you can spot the problem. We're gonna start here where I'm level 5, slow pushing a wave into the Shen. I dash into him with my E here to look for poke and he backs off, then I do it again and he uses his E to jump away. Before we keep going, did you catch the big mistake he made? We're gonna go over it in a bit here, right after we see what happens next. I'm gonna keep pushing and I see a control ward dropped in my river brush, meaning it's the enemy jungler Viego. I know I can 1v2 though, so I stick around to bait it. And 
and I flashed here to try and dive and not give Fizz the kill, but my triumph kept me alive long enough that he got me. Either way, I got the 1v2 kill. Now the only way to prevent this was to not gank me at all, but the mistake that Shen made before that we're going to talk about next. It's the real reason this 1v2 was even possible, so let's go back to there. When I dashed in onto Shen here, look at how far out of position I am. I have no minions to defend me, and he's in range to E me. I only do this because the entire lane, he never once tried to hit me with his taunt. He needs to take these trading opportunities for two reasons. First, it makes it way more dangerous to poke him, as like I said, two taunts could lead to a kill. And second, it makes the odds of me dying to a gank way more likely. If I'm full health, slow pushing three waves in, they're not going to kill me. But if I'm half health, they easily can. This concept is very important in melee vs range matchups, and I learned it when I was a Diana one trick back in the day. I would just use my Q to aim for CS, but then I learned to hit the CS and the enemy champion so they weren't always 100% health, and I climbed from Diamond 4 to Masters very quickly after that. Alright, for this last game, I'm on Camille vs Wukong. Wukong doesn't have TP and has Ignite instead. I don't have my point of view for this one and I'm sorry about that, but at level 1, Wukong all ends me right away. Watch what happens and look for the mistakes we both make. Remember, he has Ignite. Alright, so let's start with his mistake. His mistake was that he tried to all in me right off the bat without killing a few minions first, or blowing my passive in the first trade, then all inning the second trade. I did realize this as he was doing it, but since I had a corruption potion and he had Doran's blade, and the fact that he had ignite, I second guessed myself a bit and didn't actually go in and finish him. But ignite is very low damage at level 1, and he didn't use it until the second time he used E. So if I just stayed on him, especially when my Q was about to come up, I would have easily won it. But we're gonna play what happens after that. See if you know what Wukong should have done here. So when I TP in, he runs away, then recalls with the wave being in a terrible spot for him. The wave is in such a bad spot that he actually loses out even though he killed me. I'm going to be so far ahead in experience that the kill won't matter at all. But McBase, he's so low, what could he even do about it? It's actually easy. All he had to do was wait until I ran back to the wave after looking for him, and sit in the brush until a melee minion got low. He was one minion from level 2, and that would have given him enough health and stat advantage that he could easily just stand in the wave and beat me 1v1 if I tried to go in. I have no way of hitting 2 before him, so he could try and bait me if I was a low elo player, but since I'm not, I would just let him shove. This is where a high elo player really has the edge and why we don't lose many games when try hard smurfing. Even if things go wrong, there are so many ways back into the game and we catch almost every mistake. Anyways, I keep the wave frozen the entire time, and when he gets back, I'm level 3 to his level 1, and this cannon is getting low. So I hit him with W and then E and Q to chunk him. I would go all in here, but a new wave is coming, and he can fight me with it, and Wukong's early game is very strong. Now we're going to let the clip play again, what was Wukong's mistake here? He actually had a chance to survive this gank, but he made a very common error in low elo. He used his flash too early, and needed to save it for my E. Whenever you get ganked, there are crucial abilities that have to be flashed or you will die to the gank. For example, Elise Cocoon. If she's ganking, you don't want to flash right away because then she can just cocoon you from range. But if you wait for the cocoon, then flash it, she can't catch you anymore. Same thing applies here, but with my E. Wukong should have waited for me to use it, then flash. And if I hold it, he should wait until he's close enough to flash into tower range before flashing, so I potentially die while diving if I choose to. Alright, moving on to this last scenario here where I'm slow pushing a wave in at level 6 and Wukong's level 4. I clear the wave and go drop a river ward quickly. For the last time, we're going to let the clip play, see if you can spot the big mistakes Wukong makes here. Alright, so the big mistake was another common one in lower elo. He didn't let the wave crash and walked up. I caught it right away, so I jumped in with E and got a huge chunk on him because my entire wave was hitting him. And then he made the second big mistake, which was he tried to E in and grab the cannon after he misplayed so hard. And of course, I caught that too and punished with my second Q. 
After that, it was very easy to finish him under tower, even though I grieved to miss my E. Alright guys, so this is the kind of gameplay you should have in lower elo. You need to recognize mistakes and punish right away. If you do that, you will climb very quickly. By the way, you should know where our guides come from. Our hyper improvement platform skill capped is the number one place to actually start improving at League of Legends. You can input your rank before signing up to see where we'll think you'll climb to. Then, if you don't hit that rank while actively using skill capped, you can claim a full refund. That's like a gym membership guaranteeing you'll get ripped. We offer this because our services really do work. And if it doesn't, then you shouldn't pay for it. Check us out right after this. But that's going to bring us to the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.